This guy still insists that he is not being a fool. Let us read again what he is saying so we can laugh more. I don't know why you don't want to call me. I mean, what will happen to you if you call me? You will not get hurt. Call me, man. So look what he said. Let me put this simple. In one chapter, it say Allah would not marry because of the reason I posted earlier. Okay, you know what? Can you tell me the chapter you are talking about so we can go back to zero? Give me the chapter name where you are saying Allah will not marry because the earlier, 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 earlier <laughs> reason. And give us the reason. Give me the chapter so we will not misunderstood you. Is that okay, guys? Give me the chapter. You are saying the statement here about it. I'm waiting for you. I will grab my coffee. I made my coffee before I go live and I forgot about it. Here we go. It's cold already. Give me the chapter name you are saying to me that Allah will not get married because there's nobody equal to him. What chapter you are talking about? Go ahead. And we will go there. I will shave my 25 feet beard, not beard, bird, if you know what the chapter you are talking about. And now we are going to search. Give me a second, will you? See, I told you he do not know he is going to do a search. He do not know what a chapter he is talking about. This guy is just a big mouth. How you are sure what you meant about the previous chapter, and now you need to look for what a chapter it is. Do you need to call a friend? Call a friend. I mean, call Abdul. Call Zach and I. Christian Prince, the guy he told you give me a second, and you are not beaten. Zach and I, I went, I grabbed my coffee, I came back, I went to the bathroom, I did poo poo, and now I came back and he's still looking. Christian Prince, when a Muslim he said give me a second, it means give me a century. A century? It's going to take him a century. All this time, he could not find the first number. Christian Prince, first of all, we are Muslims. And we are people who believe in Insha'Allah. I understand, Insha'Allah. That means nothing will happen. Exactly. So now he will go and he will turn in the internet. And he will not find the verse. And the only way to find the verse, if he going to go and replay the video. So he can find it because he don't know what you said. Zakir Naik, be honest with me. Are you the smartest between all the girls in the family? Christian Prince, respect yourself. I am the smartest between the transgender. The heck? All this time you are not able to find the verse yet. I'm waiting, man. What happened? Just ignore him. Potato. This is telling you those people do not know what they are saying. They are just opposing. Once I went to a Muslim chat room, they gave me the microphone and supposedly now they will get me busted. They said, Christian Prince, if you are a man, take the microphone in our chat room. So I took the microphone. I said, Muhammad, he was a good man. The Muslim, all of them in the chat, they were saying, liar, liar, a Christian Prince. I said, he never raped women. Liar, 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 you are. Uh, 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 Muhammad never raped children. Liar, liar. And then after all this, you know, like I'm, I'm holding the microphone for five minutes. The admin, he gave her dot to the whole chat room and he started cursing them. He said, you stupid, this guy, he did beat us even in our chat room. He was saying to you, the prophet, never rape, you said to him, liar. He did not have sex with his children, you said to him, liar. He never, he was not a, 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 a like a, a, a thief, you said to him, liar. Are you even listening? They don't listen. They knew that the Christian prince, whatever he say, is going to be against Muhammad. So I said, it was a lie, what I'm saying, I, I agree with them. It was a lie. <laughs> Muhammad never raped, liar. <laughs> but then the Abdul, they died. That's how in their chat room, I made them agree.
that Muhammad is idiot, false prophet. And look at this guy, he's gone now. He's never back. And then now, how five minutes we are waiting for him, he's not back yet. He reminded me of a sheikh, he was debating me once, and he said, excuse me, I need to do the call of nature. And this guy, this sheikh, he never been back. This was maybe 15, I don't know how many years, 10 years, 15 years, I'm not sure. Until now, he is in the bathroom. Do we have any Muslim he is not in the bathroom to call me? Any Muslim he is not in the bathroom to call me. Uh, look, we have another Muslim here. You know, the Muslims, they can't answer any of our questions. So what they say, if you are a sincere person, please read the Quran himself, himself. <laughs> Do you know that the Muslim believe that the Quran is a man? Is it true that you Muslim believe that the Quran is a man? Yes or no? And as long as you are saying to me, if you are a sincere person, please read the Quran himself. So why you Muslim make interpretation if the Quran itself himself is enough? Know your creator. Okay, I want to know my creator. Is it true that my creator, which is supposedly Allah, according to you, he decided that my sperm is coming from the backbone? You know what? I'm going to go to Thailand and I'm going to do surgery, take off my testicles, because obviously they are for decoration. According to your God, my testicles are just for a look. Just to play bing bong with them. Like you are, you know, sitting alone, what you would do? Like you see, like there's two balls. Like let us play bing bong, like bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. This is your creator who do not know what the testicles are made for. He thinks that the sperm is coming from the backbone. And I heard that the creator, which is the creator of Islam, Aka Muhammad, he thinks that Allah told him that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Is that what your wife she have? Be honest with me. Can you take a picture? I challenge you. I dare you. The creator. What an easy word to say. Your God, he think that mountains are placed in the top of the earth. If, guys, there is a sea a mountain coming. Look, it's in the in the yard of the neighbors. Big mountain. Big mountain. Your God, the creator, he think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Hmm. She want to debate me? Well, that may can give you my scab. They are posting it. She can call me anytime. She can call me now. But I advise her to bring her sheikh with her. Do we have any brave Muslim he dare to call us and join us? Somebody sent me the Ukraine war, NATO proxy was war against Russia. Putin is not a bad guy. So proxy, but you started the war, you idiot. I mean, who's the who's the donkey here? But I guess it's a proxy. It's a proxy, but you are started the war. You are started the invasion. If you want to have a war with the American, go. Alaska is two miles away, two miles away from your borders. Stupid people. That's why the Chinese, they said he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they. The Hooris are waiting for you. If you call me, 
Allah will extend your private part. Extra mile maybe, maybe two miles. And maybe one day you are hungry, you can make sujages of it. Hmm? Oh, he came back after 10 minutes, but at least now he's being honest. Look what he said. <laughs> But at least he's honest, you know, look what he said. My friend, I'm not against you. I trust me, I'm not I'm not making fun of you, by the way. But I understand that Islam make people stupid. I'm serious. Islam make people stupid, make people say things, stupid things. So look what you just said now. He agreed that it was about the same verse. Okay, Christian Prince. I admit I was wrong. Uh, it was the same verse. But why do you automatically assume everything is about sex? It's like you intentionally want to make God look bad. <laughs> it's not me who made things about sex. It's, say, it's you who said Allah, he could not find someone to marry from. Why you make it about marriage if it's not about sex? Isn't it you who said that? It's you. That was your answer. And as long I'm trying to make Allah look bad by speaking of him, he's going to have sex. So you Muslims, when you open this website and you're a scholar, they say this, Allah want to take hoodies. Are they trying to make him look bad, brother? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when CP come to you? Bad boys, bad boys. Who dare? Who dare to call me? Who is the brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. Anyone? Anyone. Okay, forget about anyone. Any two. We take you two, two. Okay, any three. Why you don't ambush me, Muslims? Like, you know, the Muslim, they ambush uh, apostate prophet. They brought him Muhammad be me hijab. Why you don't ambush me and call me me hijab? So he got me busted. You were not there. Who dare? You don't want to do ambush? It doesn't say that, CP. And how the Muslim they refute Christian prince? Okay, let's think Christian prince. This hadith reported by Cuckoo. Cuckoo, he said to Dudu. Dudu said to Mimi. Mimi said to Fifi. Fifi said to Hoo Hoo. Hoo Hoo is very well known to be Hoo Hoo. He say a lot of Hoo Hoo things. So he's false. And now we refuted you. Like what the heck? How easy it was. The conclusion is, we Muslims are a bunch of liars. We make fabrication stories about our prophet. So we read their books. And the only solution is, we say that our books is lying about our prophet. And then the Abdul, who never met the person who he accused him to be a liar, who never existed in his time, he knew he's a liar. I wonder if he knew he's a liar. We Muslims put him in the book. Why you say what a liar he say? Do you see how they refute you? So easy. So easy, easy. Very easy. But this will remind me of the author of the Quran. Look, look, look. <laughs> there is a verse in the Quran. You know, first time when I read this verse, I was like very, very, I mean, I was like now I'm 17, but at that time I was like 21, very young. Long time ago. Uh, there is a verse in the Quran Muhammad he told his wife brother 
a secret. Yes, brother. He told his wife a secret. And then, the brother, the wives told the other wife, brother. <laughs> and then, brother, <laughs> the other wife, she told the other wife, brother. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then brother the other wife she told the other wife and the other wife told the neighbors brother. <laughs> and then brother Allah he revealed what the wives told the other wife some of it brother some of it brother <laughs> Look, look at this. Look at this complication, brother. It's like making nooks easier. Do you know? Okay, remember and remember. Well, remember. This is this is in the time of Muhammad, you idiot. What remember? I mean, you Muslims, you insert word there. And when the Prophet, and look, here we go, they insert SAW. They cannot even say his name without SAW, FM, short wave, long wave, long tail. Disclose a matter of confidence to one of his wives so when she told the other one <laughs> who's talking Allah Abdul don't you think that this is a gossip of a grandmother sitting in the front of a of a house of, of, a, of a farm Two grandmother in the age of maybe 90 something, they are gossiping. This is God talking. So when the prophet told his wife, and one of the other wives, she told the other wife. So the other wife, he told the other wife. And then Allah, he made it known to him. Like, what the heck? Allah made it known to him. He informed him part, therefore. He informed him only part. Which part? <laughs> and left a part. Like, what the heck? Allah informed him apart and left apart. So they don't want to say that Muhammad is ignorant. They do not know what they were saying. Allah informed him only apart, brother. Teredem, 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 teredem. Christian Prince. Allah, he told Prophet. I did not answer the phone. I heard the ring. How you can go in the line right away? Christian Prince, we are hacking your phone. And right now I'm inside your phone. Zachar Naik, I know my phone is shaking, man. Because always you shake. Aren't you a shake yourself? Exactly. And now I'm going to explain to you, I will get you button. Then the Prophet told his wife a secret. And the wife told the other wife a secret. And then Allah revealed for him some of the secret which he told the secret. And then Allah Prophet, he knew about it, some of it, but he did not know the other part. What does that mean? Hey, uh, uh, our friend, the one who said the verse is clear. The one who said to us the Quran, read the Quran, brother. If you like to read the Quran, brother, it's explained itself, brother. Read the Quran, brother. <laughs> and are you sure that this gossip is coming from God the Almighty? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, do you think, don't you think that it is little immature for your God to send a bear to attack a children just for, okay, hold on, guys, just to show you how stupid those Muslims, they do not know even what their books is saying. What if I show you the story in your books from your prophet, what you would do? What do you do? My God, he sent a bear to punish those who made fun of a prophet. What your God did. Do you dare to call me and face the challenge you made for me? Let us see who's the dump. Huh? Do you see how immature you are, stupid? God, he created everybody. God, he can take the life of everybody. He do it every day. 
And if God decides to punish you for insulting a prophet, this is God, not an army of somebody. God, he did it. Isn't it your God supposedly storing the story from the Bible about Sodom and Gomorrah and even the children they died? Why? Because they insulted the prophet? Are you there? Don't you think it's immature? Don't you think that Allah, he made fun of a man, a man he made fun of Allah, and he put the miswak in his anus, and then Allah, he made him deliver a child from his anus seven months after he gave birth to a rat? Don't you think this is an immature story? Don't you think it's immature that someone, he is a prophet, he rip a woman two parts, and she is a very old woman, by tying her legs between two camels. This is not God, this is Muhammad. Just because she spoke against him, shouldn't he forgive her she is an old woman? Isn't it this is what a great man they do? An old woman, she insulted me, and I will beat her up? I will tie her legs between two cameras and rip her apart. And her name is Ummu Qurfa. And then he raped her, her, her daughters. You are a Muslim talking about mature when your prophet, he married a six years old child. Is that maturity? When a Muslim, he speak about maturity, he forgot that he is following the most pervert old man in Arabia. And not only that, actually, Muhammad, he said, just to show you the mature Allah. If you don't commit sin, Allah said, what Allah will do? Allah will destroy you. Is that a mature God or he's mentally ill? He will destroy us. For, com for not committing sin or for committing sin? Your God is mentally ill, sick. And this is, by the way, you ask yourself, how the Muslim they believe in the story of the flood of Noah, where God, he punished people for their sin, became so too much. And then he say, I swear by Allah, if you don't commit sin, Allah would destroy you. And he come with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. And look at the false translation. It says replace you. What replace you? He will erase you. He will take you out of existence. He would sweep you out of existence. Why? Because we did not commit sin. So what is the requirement for this earth to be exist? Is to be filthy sinners. This is the only thing Allah, he created us for. He wants sinners Otherwise, he will sweep you out of existence and he will replace you with those who would commit sin and then seek forgiveness. Immature God, lonely God. He needed people to beg for forgiveness. Those who don't do sin, they are boring. They are not doing sin, so how I can punish them? How I can ask them to pray, please forgive us? Is that the mature God?
You see? Isn't this is against everything God stands for? God, he will reward you if you are not a sinner. God, he will not punish you if you are a sinner. God, he will appreciate you being good. No. Because Allah is Satan. Allah is Satan. He is encouraging people to commit sin. And all what he wants from you, just ask for forgiveness. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? All right, our Skype is open all this time, yet not even a single Abdul. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. As you see, the conclusion about the Trinity, our God, he can be three and one in the same time. Yes, for he is almighty God. If that is impossible for your mind, well, remember, everything is possible for God. Your God, because he's a false God, he cannot be three and one at the same time. And the one who question how God can be, he cannot be a believer of God. He must be an atheist. You Muslims are a bunch of pagans. For your God is a rock. He cannot be three and one at the same time. He is just one rock. It's the black stone. And not only your God the question his ability, how he can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. Allah himself, he questioned everything about himself. He claimed that he is the originator of the earth and the heaven. Then he says, how can he have a son? Which is very simple. Well, shouldn't we ask the same question to the Quran then? How Mary she can have a son, yet she have no boyfriend? If Allah cannot have a son without having a girlfriend, how Allah claimed that the miracle happened to Mary, it's coming from him. He cannot do it to himself. The God of Islam is a stupid. If why if God three in one, why does God refer to my father uh, instead of me? Okay, thank you for the question. Let us put it in the screen. You know, my friend, there's many people do not understand what the Christian believe. When we say that God is one, one is not a number. One is a unity. The word in the Hebrew is echad. Echad is not one as number. The Bible says the man and the woman, they got married and they became echad. Echad. But they are not one person. They are two. So when we say God is one, we don't mean one as numbers. Can you number God? If you say God is one as a number, that means there's number number two, there's number three, because you cannot say he's what, what one, what, what one, one God? The one is a one of unity, not one of number. So people are living in the time of computers, in the time of very fast information to come to you. I remember when I was a kid, I used to walk almost 45 minutes to go to a library. And then because I'm a kid, they don't allow me to go with the adult. So I walk next to an adult so I can go in the adult section. And then the librarian, he would think I am the child of this person. He will let me get in. And then I sit in the table and grab any book in the table because I'm not allowed to go and ask for a book. There's a section for children's and there is Mickey Mouse. But obviously, today, a lot of people, they are still in the Mickey Mouse section. If you do a little search, you will find that the Christian do not believe that God is one as a number. And this is why your question is invalid. For you don't understand the nature of the God of the Christians. But isn't it Jesus, he says, me and the Father is one? Me and the Father is one, is a God. If you don't want to learn, nobody can force you to learn. If you want to stay ignorant, 
It's your business to be ignorant. If you want to stay dummy, well, nobody can make you smart. You have to work in yourself. Uh, Roto Managa, he is saying the following. <clears throat> when you were a kid, you know that all kids, they make a stupid remark. First of all, they are not kids. They are youth. They are growing individuals. Secondly, I will take you accountable for what you just said. Isn't it in the Quran? It says that the Prophet Al-Khadr, he slaughtered a boy because one day he will become a disbeliever. So if the boy, he did not become a disbeliever and we slaughter him, we chop his head. Those boys already, the youth, they are disbelievers. They are making fun of the prophet. The prophet did not kill them. God took them. But in your Quran, we find that you're a prophet of Allah, Al-Khadr, teaching Moses how to slaughter a boy who one day he will become a disbeliever. And this is additional proof that Muslims are idiot. They do not know their book. Chapter 18, verse number 74. We will find that in that chapter, Al-Khadr, which is the messenger of Allah, who is the master, he is the guru, teaching Moses how to be a prophet. He found a boy and he slaughtered him. True Muslim, he says, you, while you run away, come and debate me. Well, potato, if you are a man, call me in Skype. My Skype was open for the last two hours. And you potato never do it there to do so. Everybody is scared of all of you Muslims to the point you don't dare to call me. Here you see that this kid did not even commit a sin yet. It says in front of you, Musa said to him, You have killed an innocent person who had killed none. Verily, you have committed a thing, Munkar. Filthy, bad, evil. Who is saying that? Musa's to Al Khadr. What Al Khadr he said to him? He said to him, You idiot. Allah has sent you to me to learn from me. And I told you, you will not be able to handle it. And this is the answer why I killed the boy. As for the boy, his parents were believers. And we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief. So if we go back to what you just said, you are an embarrassment to your God. Because according to you, we should not punish kids because they do stupid things. This kid in the Quran did not even do the stupid thing. He did not even commit any sin. Yet you slaughter him, not God slaughtering him. Be honest with me, Manga. Aren't you embarrassed by what you just said to us? <clears throat> How you punish a child, he did not commit sin yet, and he is a Muslim. For we feared that one day this boy he might do bad things. He did not do bad, and he is not even sure. He said, the Arabic is so clear. He says, we feared. Even in translation says, we feared. So now I walk down the street. I see a kid I don't like how he look like. So I feared that this boy will do something bad to his parents and he will become a disbeliever. So what we do? We kill him. Aren't you embarrassed? 
for the challenge you just made to me? Be honest if you have dignity. And this is a stand against everything called justice. The boy is playing in the street. The boy did not kill anyone. The boy did not do any bad act. The boy is just a boy. And how he killed him. Ah, it's a parade matter. No, my friend, it is not a parade matter. It is you who lost your penis. You are not a man to admit that your question got busted here because they insulted the prophet and why they should be killed. Well, if somebody insulted the prophet, should he be killed in Islam? The answer is yes. When they ask the prophet about killing children of the kuffar, he says, Wahum mean whom? They are from them. Coward liar. And how this is a separated matter when it is the same thing, but it's even more ugly if you describe the first one to be ugly. The first one, they insulted the prophet. The one in the Quran, they never insulted anyone. What we do? We slaughter the boy. And look what he said. By the way, since I badmouth your religion, why does not your God send the bear after me? Who did not? Who did say he did not? I'm here. And I made you shish kebab. And the joke of everybody. Life. You have no happiness. Have you ever heard of a Muslim is happy? You have no peace. You need the American to keep peace in the Middle East. If the American, they take their power from the Middle East right away, you Muslim will rip each other as you do for centuries. Since the time of Muhammad. Who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Muslims. Who killed the Caliphate? Muslims. Who killed each other? Muslims. You don't have a blessing of God. You are cursed. And that is the curse of God. You lost your decency. You lost your logic. You lost your sense. And you are just a fool. Thinking there is a God, he will provide you with endless penis. You are a penis worshiper. What more God can do to you? He will you go to hell. And I am the bear who you must fear. That's why none of you dare to call me. If you think you are the bear, he will be here right away. But you are a potato. You are the rabbit. All of you are rabbits. Like, you know, look at the, the leader of Hezbollah. We sign agreement with Israel to make the line. We scare them. You scare them, you stupid. You just approve them to be a state of Israel by signing agreement. This is our borders. And just less than 24 hours before Israel, they hit a big base for Hezbollah in Syria. Less than six hours before that, they hit a big base for Hezbollah. Less than 24 hours before that, they hit another base in Syria, and Hezbollah never dared to respond. Yet they claim to be heroes. More than 80,000 attack by Israel happened in the last 10 years on the Shia militant in Syria. Zero response. Yet they claim to be heroes, and Israel is scared of them. You are terrified. That's what you are saying now. The bear is all over you. You have us. You have Israel. You have yourself. You are the enemy of yourself. You must then kill each other. You admit that your God is bad too? Well, my, you know, my friend, uh, a Muslim, he can think about God as bad as he wish. But the good God, yours, is the God who make your penis endless. I challenge you to tell me, to call us right now, and to say to us how good it is your good God promised you endless penis. How you can walk with it. Is that a bad promise or good promise? American pirate, he said, 
that Jesus, he said, more they will come after me, they will be more powerful than me. Do you like to call me and tell me how Jesus, he said that? Can you? I laugh at what people say. I found that stupidity is amazing for a reason. <clears throat> Go ahead. You want to call me? This is Jesus, he said. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. You know, uh, through, uh, through my experience with people who speak, and they try to oppose Christianity. They read as they wish, they understand as they wish, and they come with the questions as they like. And Jesus, he said that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Anyway, do we have any mature Muslim here dare to call me? Oh, look, look, guys, look how they are ashamed of their God. Why do you bring a Da'if Hadith penis that I am starting to think you like them? Is that why you are not married? Hmm. Is that why Allah he is not married? He like penises, and as long as it's a daif hadith, isn't it? This is mean. Is it true hadith? Because daif hadith has a rank. Do you know what daif hadith mean? You idiot. It means it's accepted. Daif does not mean it's rejected. It is accepted. Secondly, what if I show you a strong hadith, sahih hadith? What you will do? And does that mean that your prophet, he liked too much penises because he keep talking about his penis? I'm going with your logic. Is it true that your prophet, he says that his cousin, he raped him? I can show you the reference. Who care? Who care to call me? And a question, the same question. And the funny is that you just admitted that you Muslims, you're transparent with us about your religion and writing hadiths that your prophet said about penis. And you are saying it is da'if, and then you need to ask yourself if it's, it's if da'if mean bad. So why you Muslim write it in your books, which is in the book of good hadith. So now because you're ashamed of what your prophet said, you say that. But let us go to the Quran. Are you going to say the Quran is da'if? Let us go to the Quran. Does the Quran describe what the penis they will do? Here we go. <laughs> Why your God keep talking about penis in the Quran? Chapter 55, verse number 56. Chapter 55, verse number 74. Which one you want first? Mr. Penis, God. This is your God. And this is your translation. And this is your Quran. Read it. What Allah, He promised you. Vaginas never been treated by the penises of genie or men and did not bleed yet. Those are for who? So now I'm going to ask you what you exactly will use with those vaginas. Your tongue, your nose, or your penis? For sure your tongue. Because you Muslim, you lick the black stone which is a vagina. Is that God talking? He promised me women. 
Their vagina never been opened by a penis? Why, it's a Pepsi Cola? Is that a Daif Quran? Why Allah keep talking about vagina and penises? Allah must be a God who likes penises. And can you tell me, by the way, how Allah explaining that genie is going to open vaginas of women? Hmm. John 12, 14, very truly, American Patriot, just go, man. You, you, you just asked me a question previously. People are laughing at you. Just go. Copy, paste. If you have a courage, call me. Notice the stupid subject of this verse about wholesome male pleasure. But if you are a homosexual, that okay with me. All right. Guys, it's about wholesome pleasure. What is the pleasure of wholesome of a woman no genie did F her yet? Explain to us. I'm waiting for you. And as long you are saying to me that if you are a homosexual, it's okay for me. Is it okay for a prophet Muhammad to be homosexual with you? Because I can prove it to you. The Quran promise you, not actually, Zakir Naik, he said, the word hur, brother and sister, the word hur is a plural word, and does that mean male or female? It's for both. So, Allah, he promised you hur. So, sister, inshallah, in the heaven, you will have hur. So, the Quran, when he said, Quran say hur, according to Zakir Naik, you will have a male. But hold on. This is your prophet saying, in the heaven of Allah, there is images. Images of men and women. If a man, he wish the image, he enter in it and have sex with it. Who is the homosexual? The one who promise you to have sex with men. Who is in the image? Men and women. Who is the customer? The man. And we can show you exactly the same in the Quran. In the Fijanati Sukhan, Ma fiha bayon wala shiraun. Illa sur. Mina nisa iwa rijal. Fa ida shtaha rajulu sura dahala fiha. In the heaven, there is a market where is no buying nor selling except images of men and the women. So if a man desire an image, he enter it. Who is the homo? Now let us go to the Quran and prove homosexuality in the heaven of Allah. Allah, he promised every single Muslim in the heaven, he will have at least 80,000 boys, and they are so pretty. And they are so white. Hmm. Read the Quran. Chapter 52, verse number 24. The Muslims, they add here the word serve them. It doesn't say that. It says around them boys, no servants. No serve them. Around them boys who they are white like pearls. What those boys specification? They will not bleed. Chapter 37, verse number 47. Allah, he promised us that we will have sex and we will drink wine 
and we will never get dizzy. What about the boys? Let's go to the boys. The boys who they will go around them and they have with them cups and glass full of wine. It's a sex party with wine. And they will not do bleed. The Muslim, they translate the bleed, they will not get it drunk. Who is going to get it drunk? The boys? Or the Muslims? And why the one is going around them is boys. And they are white. And they are pretty like pearls. That is explained in the following verses. Or if you read the verses before them. So those who enter heaven, they will be having party of sex. A lot of virgins and boys around us while we are effing virgins. The boys, they have a special specification. They are so pretty and they are so white. Are they going to be wearing clothing? No, they will be naked. What they are doing around us? They are, according to the Quran and the Muslim translation, they are going around us with cups and jugs and glass full of a flowing wine. Who like to have boys around him when he is having sex? If he is not having sex with the boys. You tell me. The Quran says, Allah, he promised the Muslims wherever, whatever they wish as a desire. I have a debate with a Muslim sheikh and he said to me, well, there is no sin in heaven. You can have sex with men. And actually, I can show you the reference from your Islamic scars from the best website you choose. There is no sin in heaven. Anything you wish is valid in Islam. In the Islamic heaven. Allah promise you anything. Anything you wish. Chapter 16, verse number 57. Chapter 21, verse 102. Anything, anything you want. Chapter 43, verse number 71. Anything you desire. And now if we ask Muslims, is a homosexual will go to heaven? The answer is yes. The Quran says, Allah, he forgive every sin except shirk. The Bible say no. The Bible say no. Quran say yes. And this is your Quran. And as long you are promising people who go to heaven of Allah, whatever they wish, what a homosexual will wish. He will go to heaven. If we go here, we will find the following. Chapter 16, verse number 57. Oh, forget about this one. Hold on. This is a different, a different story. Allah, he repeat once after once after once. Whatever you desire, your heart desire is a granted. Whatever your heart desire is a granted. Whatever. We continue, chapter 40, uh, 43, verse number 71. Whatever you desire, you will grant it. 
anything you desire whatever your soul desire anything let us continue chapter 52 verse number 22 and whatever they desire let us continue i mean there's stones but look what happened now homosexual they will go to heaven guaranteed only those who they commit shirk their sin is not forgiven all those verses confirming that for us let us read one of them verily Allah chapter 4 verse 48 verily Allah forgive not the one who take partner with him but he forgive anything else to whom he please do you see it so can you prove to me that homosexual they will go they will not go to heaven in Islam isn't this is your God who is a Muslim when I answer Isn't this your book? You see, I mean, you, you people are really stupid. Aren't you the one who says the verses explained themselves just 15 minutes ago? Now you are saying to me, find me a scholar. Do you remember when I found you the scholar, he said that you or your God, Allah, if you want to have a wife, he will have the whore. You said to me, why you go by the scholar? And now you are saying, find me a scholar. This is the Quran. It says, whatever you wish. Find me a scholar. He says, whatever you wish does not mean whatever you wish. Let us, let us do this. Manga. Can you give me a name of a scholar you trust? Can you give me a name of a scholar, read a scholar? Not a YouTuber. I challenge you to give me a name of a scholar. I will open the scholar of your choice. I will put it in the screen. I literally find me, anyone, that believe in his servant or sleeping with. Well, I, you know, you see, if the verse saying whatever you wish, who is going to stop you? Your prophet said, whatever is forbidden in earth is not forbidden in heaven. As an example, the one who drink earth in earth, in uh, wine in earth, he will not drink wine in heaven. That means still he will go to heaven. And that means if a homosexual he have sex with male in earth. He will not be allowed to have sex with male in heaven, but others they will be allowed. <laughs> oh boy. And you know, is it your prophet himself was a homosexual? Here we go. This is your prophet. If I tell you a story now about two men rubbing their chest against each other, the guy, he turned his ass to the prophet and he is rubbing his, his back with the chest of the prophet. The guy, he is kissing the prophet, Billy. The prophet is kissing the guy, Billy. This meant how you understand the story. And then the other guy says to him, please don't stop. This is what I wanted. Your prophet is a homosexual. The uncle of Muhammad is homosexual. Omar Khattab is homosexual. Read my book with reference. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih Hadith. So don't come to me. It says Sahih al Isnad. A guy, he was with his friends. Read, read, read with me carefully. 
So he was talking to the people and making them laugh. He's joking. The prophet booked him under his ribs with a stick. Okay, nice. He said, let me, let me take retaliation. He said, okay, okay, take retaliation. He said, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. What? You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet, he raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. To kiss where? This is the Muslim translation, by the way. Kashahu is down his belly. So the prophet, he raised his shirt and the man embraced him. And what he began to do? He began to kiss his side. Then he said, this is what I wanted. Oh, messenger of Allah. If your prophet is a man and he is not what you call. What is this? Not to mention Muhammad sucking the tongues, licking faces. of boys and men. What is this behavior? If you Muslims have a picture of a Christian prince and there's a guy is kissing his belly, down his belly, and he, Christian prince, he raised his t-shirt up so the guy can touch the skin. What you Muslim will say? Be honest. You Muslims are hypocrite. Uh, proves that man had different sense, plantic interactions, useless, he's literally penetrate, penetrating him. It's not homosexual. Okay. It's what then? Why your prophet allow a man to kiss him down his belly? I, I'm just, I'm asking you, what, what is the reason? A man is kissing a man down his belly. A prophet raising up his t-shirt. All what you said to me have nothing to do with what the question. This this is all proving that the man had different sense of platonic interactions. Platonic. Platonic. Unless he is penetrating him. So now it's a he have to penetrate him to be. <laughs> do you must then do that when you walk in the street? You know you do that to each other. This is sunnah now. Do you do that platonic thing? It sounds like good platonic to me. Do you do? To be honest, do you do you have a picture of you doing platonic stuff? Huh? That's a lot of platonic, platonic. We can show you tons of reference. Obviously, your prophet is encouraging homosexuality. Actually, I have a debate with a Muslim. Let me search for it. Oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Well done. <clears throat> there is no sin in heaven. I'm looking for a debate. I'm gonna go maybe this one.
Let us see. And here you see how Muslims are hypocrite. Each one of them, he tried to give you a different answer, depend in the situation, trying to hide the truth. Hello? I heard you, I saw you in the text saying this guy is a fraud. Why you don't want to talk now? Do you hear me? So hold on, maybe Prince. maybe his voice is not coming to him. Hold on. Hello? Prince. Okay, do you hear me now? I saw you on the text saying this guy mute, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Let us go a little bit, go forward. Without having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything, anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I'm, sin I'm just is, trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm not sin. smart we, like listen, you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult. By the way, I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and I, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and I to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Nike mm. in heaven, mm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Nike in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my it would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven, think of it as anything can happen. Well, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nike having sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nike and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Hmm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean, I think that will be hurting you badly. Do you think Allah will ease your anus pain? No, listen, it, that person, whoever wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would the uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. The time and space, no problem, but he need his penis too. So you are a man now, and a man he want to do sex to you, and now, you know, because you are a man, Unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you when he, when a, when Abdul he do? I would not. I would not be the one that he does it to. I'd be. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do it no, to no, you. No, 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Ah, so your anus will be bigger in the heaven. Okay, I got that. No, so, no, no, no. So what you do you mean? I am different me. You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what, okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah, yeah yes. okay. So if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh, yes, my answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it, like because you said, like, yeah, yes, like, wow, man, look like you are dying no, for it's that. Because day. you go in a loop because you repeated the same thing. I said yes already. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, my friend, after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister, as you said. Do you think, don't you think this is like really weird? I mean, what is, what kind of heaven this heaven is? It is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds, yes. Mm. But once you, once you go to heaven, you are free from that. Mm. 
So you are in the heaven of Islam. Let us make it clear for the audience, me and you. In the heaven of Islam, you will be free from your moral, correct? Yes. Which means you will you will have no morality. Sir, sir, what? You said that in the earth we have moral. In heaven we don't have moral, correct? It's a social 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 structure. Yes. Yeah. So in the heaven of Allah we have no moral. We can do whatever we wish. So if my 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 neighbor he have a wife, I can jump over his window, and I can do being bong with the wife, right? Your desires will happen. Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And what what will make that of you? I mean, uh, that will make you really happy. You think this will be a very happy time for you? Any any of my desires will have be able to happen. Yes. Hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The, the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter? In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven, you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm in dead from this world. Ah, okay. So in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? <laughs> let us say let us assume you are very handsome you know you are handsome very much and there's 500 men they want to have sex with you so what we will do now you are it's okay for you they would love um hmm. sound like it's they, very something you like very much okay well no, you know no it's just in the time and space that each man will be able to imagine whatever they want and it will happen hmm. okay well, I don't know. This is a very interesting religion, by the way. I don't understand what your problem with that is. Uh, for uh, I, I'm sure you don't understand because you are coming from different uh, world, my friend. You don't have a problem with anything. You're having sex with your mother, with your sister, with your daughter, with the goat, with the donkey, men with men. I mean, this is the hippie religion. Okay, where do you we think have... that having uh, many wives is wrong? In earth? Yeah, any, any, yes. Yeah, 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 the Bible says don't multiply your wives. How many wives did Solomon have? It's not God who taught him to do that. Solomon, he, you know, and David, they, they ask God for repentance. They pray for God saying, please, God, forgive us. About having multiple wives? What about Moses? About all, Moses all, also? About, about, all about the sin. So you, uh, things happen. In, uh, oh, so each okay. prophet uh, okay, had my multiple friend. Okay. wives. Okay, my friend, my friend. Even Abraham, Abraham, the father of those names, he had two wives, correct? Yes. But it's not God who taught him to do that. So... And there is a certain time where people so they can't hold, eat hold, unless God tells you to eat. You can't walk no, 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 unless no, God no, tells no, you to no, walk. No, 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 no. There is a certain time Sorry. where even in the in the in the beginning of Adam and Eve, a brother he have sex with his. Anyway, <clears throat> as you see, this is the morality of Islam that in heaven there is no moral. Did you hear it? In heaven of Allah, Muslims they don't have a problem to have sex, men with men, women with women, men with the children, with animals, with angels, with anything. And they confirmed that there is no sin in heaven. And the guy was screaming at me. She says, Christian Prince, why you don't want to understand? There is no sin in heaven. Hold on. Hello, Prince. Okay, do you hear me now? I heard you. I saw you on the text saying this guy is... Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you are upset? You said you, 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 you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you. There's nothing is sin in heaven. So simply, the way Muslim they look at heaven is a place, is a free zone for sin. It's a free zone where you practice all the sin which you could not do maybe in the earth. So the house of Allah is a bar of every wrongdoing you were forbidden to do in earth in the bar of Allah it is yours no sin in heaven and this guy was screaming at me by the way and the one before him there's a, a previous caller he says to me why you are stupid we keep saying to you there's no sin in heaven what's wrong with you why you are asking those questions you're in heaven now. And this is why it's heaven. Because you can do anything. Anything you wish. So when the Quran says, anything they wish, the Quran means anything you wish. When Muhammad says there is images, 
of men and women and if the man he liked the image he enter upon it and have sex with it Muhammad he mean it Muhammad he confirm it and when the Muslim they say this is da'if and this is a strong that is additional proof that Islam is a da'if religion it's a weak religion Allah could not preserve what Muhammad he said because remember Islam is not based only in the Quran actually 90% of Islam is not in the Quran so how Islam is preserved if the hadith is not preserved actually even the word sin when the Muslim they say to you it is sin as an example a Muslim he says to you fornication is sin but Muhammad he allow fornication as an example Muhammad, he allow Muslim men and women to have sex together three days, three nights in exchange of money or gifts. Is that true? Yes. So when a Muslim, they say Islam is against sin, you need to understand that what is sin in Islam is not really sin. Muhammad, he speak against fornication, supposedly, but in fact, Muhammad promote fornication, he gave it different names. Allah Apostle, he said, if a man and a woman agree, the Muslim translation says temporarily marry. In Arabic, nowhere it says marriage. Agree to live together, ishra, to have sex together for three days, Look at the first translation. I mean, you can you can take you can take Google translation here. You can copy it and post it in Google. You will find this is absolutely false. There's no where it says married. And then, if a man he like to live with the women for three days, three nights, if they like to continue, they can continue. If they don't want to continue to separate, they separate. And then the Muslim they said. This is, was later abrogated. Where? <laughs> Where is the abrogation? The Quran in front of us, chapter 424, says you pay women money for enjoying their vagina. This is Islam. So. You know, many Christians are confused because Muslims, they use same words you use, like sin, fornication, lying. But in Islam, you can lie. Chapter 3, verse 28, a Muslim is been ordered to lie to non-Muslims. He's been ordered. He can call you a friend only if he's lying. He can call you, call you I, I like you, only if he's lying. He can call, tell you, I, I, I love America, only if he is lying. But if he is meaning that he should be killed he will be punished his wife will be raped and this is not my words this is the official government website of the king of jordan who is a great friend to america read it you cannot take a christians and jews as a friends this is the same in chapter 5, verse number 51. However, the Quran make it clear that you cannot take a Christian and Jews as a friends. You cannot take the hypocrite and the disbelievers as a friends. And the one who do that, which means he mean he has no connection, he has no honor, he has no mercy or protection, which means we can kill him or rape his wife. Unless it that ye yet to be guard yourself against them save yourself from them speaking as, uh, as we're security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this this is the religion of the devil so when somebody he says to you i am your friend and he's a muslim if you believe him really that he's your friend you are just a stupid fool a Muslim is not allowed to take non-Muslims as friends. He's not. Quran chapter 5 verse number 51 make it so clear. 
You see this Kadarov, he announced jihad against Ukraine, right? But this guy, his commander and chief is Putin. And Putin, he claimed to be Christian. And the Russian are Christians. So how this guy is asking the Muslim to do jihad for the sake of the Christian king, Putin. According to the Quran, he is not a Muslim. All who you believe take not Jews and Christians as a friends or protectors, helpers, etc. They are awliya to each other, which means protectors, friends, helper to each other. And he among you who take them as awliya, then surely he is one of them. Do you see it? So if a Muslim really he take you as a friend and he mean it, then he become an apostate. Only at that time you believe him. If you say I am an apostate from Islam, maybe you believe him. The Quran is so clear. It's in the front of your eyes. And this is the Muslim translation. And you can open the interpretation of every Muslim scholar. Do you see those coward Mimi Hijab, Ali Dawa? They pay tax to Her Majesty the Queen, now the King Charles government. The Quran says you don't do that. They hold passport, have a crown, and the crown has a cross. When they took the citizenship, they took an oath to obey the protector of the faith, the king. Which faith? The Christianity. They will say to you, oh, we do that using chapter 3, verse number 28. Taqiyya. They lie. You will see this guy, uh, uh, the, the Ibn Fabian, the notebook by guy, the catch-up boy. He said to the, in when he see Christians in San Diego, he says, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. When a Christian black African Christian from San Diego tried to touch the Quran, he said to him, don't touch him. Don't touch the Quran. You are nudges. You are filthy, dirty. This is the truth, my friend. And as you see, after many hours, life on air, same as yesterday, same as the day before, same as the day before, not a single Abdul dare to call us. Why? Because they knew they will be humiliated. Don't forget to subscribe to us if you care. And for sure you can join us in Patreon if you care, and most of you don't, as usual. I say to you that Muhammad is a false man. Uh, Reto, Reto Mang, I, I challenge you. I challenge you. to show me in the Quran what you just claimed. You see, I want to go, but those Abdul, they say things. <laughs> Can you show me? Where in the Quran it's forbid homosexuality. Actually, in the Quran, it says, if there is two men having sex together, you just insult them. Do you want me to show you? Chapter 4. <laughs> Verse number 16. This is your Quran. You are just a stupid fool. And you are a coward. If two person, and look at the false translation, says men and women, false. It says, Walladani, two men. If we change the translator, look what will happen. It's not a woman and male, it's a male and male. Because the verse above before it, it's about female and female. Liars, like their prophet, no dignity. Go back. As for those twain, twain, what the heck is that? <laughs> it's a different translation. 
when two of you commit indecency, two of you, that's all? Is it not, isn't, it's not two men? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody having sex by, by himself? What a stupid religion. You have to find a translation. You have to keep moving. Okay, let's go. Different translator. Punish them both, men and women. Where is the woman? Where is the man? Where is the woman? I mean, no decency. Let us continue. Hilali and Khan. Two person, men and women. Look, what the heck? But here it says, if if those of your women commit illegal sexual intercourse, what we do, we jail them. Those are lesbian. Here is for men, coward liars. Let us change the translator. Maybe we'll find somebody have dignity one day and punish them. Those both guilty parties. Like what the heck? Let us go to a different one. Maududi. Punish them both among you who are guilty of sin. Like, what the heck? Let us see Eitani. Of two men, finally one Muslim man, he said the truth. If two men among you commit it, punish them both. If they repent, and reform leave them alone how we punish them the word in arabic it says hurt them not punish them how we hurt them let us go and see the interpretation isn't it this guy he said to me why you don't go by the scholars i will go by the scholars chapter 4 verse number 16 the scholar says we beat them with sandals with what with sandals you beat them with sandals and when two of you two men commit it that is allowed act adultery or homosexuality intercourse punish them both with insult and beating with sandals if they repent of this lowered act made no action against them this is the islam and this is the quran not a single verse in the quran opposing it it's just a normal thing like it's a sin but it's okay beat them with sandals and then they repent they are fine and then they do it again beat them with sandals and then they repent they are fine then the muslim they will say to you that the hadith says that the one who do that you kill him the quran says the opposite which one the muslim they follow the word of allah or the word of muhammad in the case of lesbian, we jail women until they die. And here you see that Islam considers women having sex together is more ugly. It's a big deal. And no forgiveness. They will be jailed until they die. But if two men doing boom boom together, it's okay. We beat them with sandals if they repent. Let them go. And this is your interpretation. And this is your book. And this is your translation. It's in front of you. If your women who commit loudness, adultery, call for Muslim for them. And by the way, it's impossible in Islam to prove adultery or fornication or homosexuality anyway, because you need to find four witnesses and all of them, they have to see the penis of the man going in and out. Quran chapter 26, verse 166. Okay, I will go to Quran 26. But can you answer me first about this verse? Is it true if two men 
according to the Quran. This is the teaching of Allah. This is the teaching of Allah. Not my teaching. If two men, they commit homosexuality, you Muslims, the punishment for them is just beat them with sandals. And they are still Muslims. Yes or no? If we go to the chapter the coward he mentioned, chapter 26, verse 166, all of you, you can open it, you will see this is have nothing to do with homosexuality. Where is this homosexuality? This is the chapter you name for me. Mentally ill people. They search Google, they don't know what they are talking about. Now, this verse, chapter 26, verse 166, is about homosexuality. Same time, as you see, even if you are a homosexual, you are a Muslim. You are not out of the faith. And you will go to heaven. The Quran made it clear. Allah forgive all sin except associating with him. Very clear. And we just showed you the Muslims approve homosexuality in heaven. Okay, so guys, beating with sandals is prescribed as a punishment for the homosexual. But homosexual, he might get excited if he was beaten by men by sandals. So look, let us think about it. If a man have sex with the women, we whip him 100 times, and we whip the women 100 times by leather belt. But if a man have sex with the man, we beat him with sandals. So which one is a greater sin in Islam? <laughs> if a woman she is having sex with the man and she is married we stone her if a married man having sex with married man what we do to them we beat them with sandals so which one is a greater sin in Islam then this is your comment not my comment All of you are Joe Biden to me. All of you. Mentally ill. You say stupid things to prove us right. But the purpose is to prove us wrong. If the punishment of a woman having sex with the man is way greater than the punishment of a man having sex with the man, that means your prophet did not see it as a big guilt. Okay, hold on. As long as Allah is merciful, why he stone a woman for sex with the man, but he is not stoning the man for sex with the man? Remember, it's you who said Allah is merciful. So Allah is merciful with the homosexual, but he is not merciful with the straight people. You try to fix it, you made it more blind. Stupid like your prophet. Guys, Allah is merciful. He has given them second chance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, there's a story, and I will finish with this. You can you can read it in the Shia, Shia Pan website. You know, the Muslim Shia and the Sunni, they expose each other. So there's a guy, when, when, uh, when uh, a Muslim... He called. He killed the Caliphate Uthman. One of the Muslims, obviously, he is a homo, like he's a prophet. He said, "If I know the one who killed Uthman, I would do boom boom to him. I will use the f word. I will f him." 
a homosexual presented in the in the scene, and he said, "I am the one who killed Uthman. I swear by Allah." So this Muslim mujahid, he made the one who admit that he killed Uthman bend over, and he start ifing him. And then the guy who is underneath, he was saying, "If I know." Killing Uthman will have a punishment like this. I would love to kill Uthman every day. Is that me making a story up? I challenge you to challenge me. If I know that the punishment of killing Uthman is this, I would love to kill Uthman every day. Can you bring Uthman back to life so I kill him again? This is your religion. And those are your books. And now you are saying to us, Allah is all merciful. So he's turned a woman to death for having sex with the man. But a man having sex with man, we beat him with sandals. This is what happened. Muhammad was trying to stage a religion. He did not know what he's saying. He's just a stupid idiot. And this is why Muhammad, he says something in the morning. He changed afternoon. When, especially when the Jews start making fun of his new law. That is a Shia source. No, this is a Sunni source, you idiot. The Shia are making fun of your source. The Shia are making fun of you, Sunni. Anyway, guys, time to go. Feel free to download the video. We don't keep them for long, as you know. And uh, we will keep the chat running when we go live, as long as people maintain with the, with the topic. And if you don't, I will block you. If you don't want to be blocked, when you join here, stay with the topic, focus on the topic, think with us, because we want people to speak maturely about the topic we speak of. All right? So I want to say thank you all for being here and we pray that the Lord will open the eyes of the Muslims. They will see that Muhammad is nothing but an evil child molester man. He is a rapist and their books confirm everything we say. None of what we said is our statement. It is their books. He is a thief. He is a liar. He is a fabricator. He is a child molester. He is a cheater. He even flirt with his own son wife. Who respects such a man? Who can trust such a man to enter his house? You see, we Christians, we spit at the priest who they are child molesters. Those who sleep around with women, cheating their wives, they will go to hell. How about Muhammad? Those are the worst of us. Muhammad is the best of them. A child molester is the worst of us. A child molester is the best of them. That will tell you what Islam is. Think about it, if you have a brain. Thank you all for being here. May the, world, may the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who gave...